across the nation. Every dollar made a dream, building profit from creation. Any thought could be a thing. How could they take it if they never gave it? If I'm unenslaved, then it's me that's gonna make it. I feel like I'm in for better, and you should too, because we all deserve it for special. Don't let no one tell you. I'm riddled with bullets of failure, but none of my vitals are felt. My resolve is deeper than gongs when Peter took Kai from his arms. I'll travel at God's speed until dawn just to obtain what I want. It pays me to break all these personal bonds, but niggas just not what we on. I'm bigger than playing the role of a pawn. My image is not a facade. My demons are friends with the boss. He treats me like one of the boys. Would you cross the sticks without giving it a second? The risk taker and a heartbreaker. I'm just trying to make a way. Doomsday clock still ticking. I'm just out making plays. Good kid with a smart mouth. Built from trauma and the pain. Nigga, you a surfboard in a shark's pool. I'm a I'm just trying to make a way. Doomsday clock still ticking. I'm just out making plays. Good kid with a small mouth. Built from trauma and the pain. Nigga, you a surfboard in a shark's pool. I'ma always be the way. Now I got a couple of devils around for a couple of niggas that think they could get with me. Pull up an empty to 50. Clean up your block and the lickety splickety. BOB keeping them with me. Filling them up. Making this little nigga filthy. Who gon' pull up and come get me? crazy in the chat aokg what's the word baby we are back with episode eight and today we're going to be talking about top cryptocurrencies listed on crypto.com app all right hold on though let me close my door because that tv over there too damn loud turn it down turn it down close my door close my door Alright, now we focus. Now we focus. What you been investing in, bro? Let me know. Uh, what you been investing in, bro? Talk to me. Talk to me now. It's what we've been investing in today, man. Is we lit? Is we lit? What you been investing into? Chat go crazy. Um, I'll be sure to drop the uh, free Discord in the chat, Patreon, uh, Twitter for anybody that's new. When you hop in here, you already know how I go. Only thing I ask you to do is like subscribe and share right so if you're new only thing i ask you to do is like subscribe and share everything else is a bonus right so you know, you know what i'm saying everything else is a bonus actually I, I don't want that at the top of the screen like that let's let's change the ticker here um i actually want to put it at the bottom of the screen and put that at the top all right so we're gonna do that we're gonna move that and we're going to move that down here at the bottom, right? We're going to put that at the bottom. <clears throat> and then we're going to move the, yeah, we're going to move that at the top. Yeah. All right. So, the, yeah, I want to make that a little bit smaller. One second. All right. There we go. 
Corrado, Everrise, J. Ben. I ain't never heard of them cryptocurrencies. You got some new ones, man. We got some new ones that you that that you got there. Um, we got to be covering some ones on Crypto.com. This has been a requested video for a while now because I know a lot of people have been asking me. Um, no, nah, I'm definitely not gonna sleep on it, man. I think you was the first person that one of you, one of you guys was the first person that put me on a bit rock before it actually blew up. So I don't sleep on nobody's tokens. In fact. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, you know, in some cases, I didn't got some some gems from you guys. So I actually appreciate the gems that you do share on stream. We're going to be talking about the top low cap gems on crypto.com. Now, why crypto.com? Why? Because I'm in the states, and I know a lot of people who watch my channel are in the states. You know, in some cases, you guys watch other YouTubers that's um out of the country, so it's easy for them to navigate across DeFi. But a lot of people have been requesting me to talk about specifically low cap gems on crypto.com so i've done some research i got a watch list that i that i put together i got some cryptocurrencies all under a 50 million dollar market cap so these are low cap gems on crypto.com app accessible to everybody all under a 50 million dollar market cap so if you 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 want me to get straight into the content i need y'all to like and subscribe okay like and subscribe i'm gonna go ahead and drop the links in the description i'm gonna drop the links right now in the chat for everybody to to join the links make sure that you um check those links out if there's something that you're interested in i'll start with the uh discord here and uh it's wonderful wednesday you know what i'm saying not wicked wednesday so you know how, how y'all wednesday shaking how y'all shaking for the wednesday skyline all rug pulls uh he, <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, G, he's calling all of your um crypto, all of your crypto um projects that you just posted there. He's calling them rug pills. Dang, I ain't I ain't never heard a couple of those, so I can't give a opinion on it. You know, I like to keep it all the way real on this channel. I can't give you opinion if I've never done any research on the project, right? So with that being said, I'm not going to, you know, I'm, I'm going to save what I, I'm thinking about those crypto project projects because, hey, I don't know. I never, I never even seen none of those cryptocurrency projects. All right. I'm putting the discord in the chat right now. My boy, Sebastian, what's the word? Let's get into it. Um, anybody who, anybody use your crypto.com card? I use my crypto.com card a lot. Okay. I use it a lot and I've never had any issues with it. That's why I like crypto.com app so much no i know a lot of people um i know a lot of people um oh yeah i'm working on a surprise ama with one of the you know small caps that 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 has a lot of potential i'm actually talking to the founders now as i'm making this video so um i also dropped that in the uh patreon but we'll also bring the ama to the youtube channel so we're going to do it on the youtube for everybody it's going to be accessible for everybody all right um, but um, I think I'm gonna let the Patreon members know who it is, and then I'm gonna surprise the YouTube channel. So definitely excited, excited about what's you know what's ahead for the channel. Excited about all the new people that's that's joining um, the groups, including you know subscribing to the channel. I'm, I'm excited about all of that. So actually, let me drop that link also in the chat as well. All right, and then I'll talk to the chat, and we'll see. John 16 says, I do love Crow. Um, I won't go shilling. I can talk to you about it another day. Yo, Millie. I said, there's a new one I've dj in to Millie. How are you doing? What's, what, you know, feel free, feel free. If you got a project that you um that you got, feel free to shill it. Um, when I open up the floor, we'll talk about it. All right, so let's get into some of these cryptocurrency projects. And I just dropped those links in the chat for everybody. Let's get into some of these cryptocurrency projects, right? I think we need to talk about uh, what's going on in the market first, because the market, man, the market has been crazy, right? We got we seen um, some crazy stuff going on in the market. Um, let's actually pull up Bitcoin here and pull up the entire. So, yes, we see some crazy stuff going on in the market, right? It looks like a little trap. We don't know what it is, and we don't know, frankly, 
what's going on? We getting bullish news like Ethereum ETFs, uh, the SEC, the XRP beating the SEC. Yet we're not seeing a lot of it translate to price appreciation. In fact, a lot of people started to get bullish. I told you guys what I was seeing on the monthly charts was extremely bearish, right? I told you guys what I was seeing in the monthly charts was extremely bearish. Okay, there we go. I was like, why did, why did my screen not change there? I told you guys what I was seeing on the monthly charts was extremely bearish, but I told you guys what I was seeing on the weekly charts was showing that we could get a nice little rally uh, headed into what we call October. But it's just been wish wash side action, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people are starting to be concerned if a bull market will ever happen. I think a bull market is destined to happen. And you just think about everything that's going on from BlackRock tokenization, uh, Bitcoin ETF, Ethereum ETF, Microsoft, crypto wallets for Xbox. I mean, the list goes on, family. Polygon partnerships with DraftKings. The, the list goes on. GambleFi. I can go on and on about bullish developments that's been happening in the bear, which tells me that this is the time that you need to be accumulating, right? Need to be accumulating. And, and unfortunately, a lot of people are scared to use DeFi. Now, there's nothing wrong with using DeFi. I get it. Spend a lot of scams on Binance Smart Chain, uh, MetaMask. You, you lose your money if you don't know how to utilize Uniswap and um, stuff like uh, um, slippage and this and that. So I get it. A lot of people like to stick to exchanges. So specifically for this live, I wanted to come up with some cryptocurrency projects listed on Crypto.com under a $50 million market cap like in the chat, let me know in the chat what crypto exchange exchange do you guys use? Are, are most of the people in my community using crypto.com app as the premier exchange for your portfolio? Let me know in the chat. It really helps me with the sentiment of some of these crypto exchanges. So sideways action going on with um with Bitcoin. I'll probably do a video a little bit later explaining on what I'm seeing on the monthly so we can, you know, have a, a little bit better idea of how long we'll be trading sideways going into the um, halvest cycle in fact i i i'm on the the, the fence to, to believe that we'll get some type of crash either right before the halvest cycle or right after the halvest cycle we need one more shakeout to kind of to, to kind of like cleanse the crypto space before the bull cycle we need to get all the bs out of crypto before the bull cycle and um also before i get into these projects i want to address the people that's in my jasmine video the trolls the trolls in my jasmine video i'm saying um crypto john was right and, th and stuff like that i mean honestly I'm, I'm i'm starting to be convinced like a lot of you guys have no clue what's going on in the cryptocurrency space they you don't understand how cryptocurrency works um it, it, it's literally common sense it goes up and then it goes down and then it goes up again and then it goes down but nothing just goes straight up and a lot goes straight down right we've seen so many cryptocurrencies capitulate so uh, i just think the um the jasmine fund is it's it's just like it's just too early to fud, right? I, I understand the concerns. I honestly just think it's just still too early. Me personally, I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. In fact, it makes no sense for me to sell my bags at the position that it is at now because even being able to uh, DCA right now, I'm really bringing out a average that's extremely low. When you think about my average is around three five three six. To DCA now is just bringing it down even more. So for me, I'm seeing an opportunity. A lot of people said Gala was dead. Gala pumped a little bit. So um, there's opportunity with some of these 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 older cryptocurrencies. Now, will they 100x? Will they 200x? Most likely not. So if you're trying to um, really, really take your portfolio to the next level, what do you have to do? You have to take on some type of risk, right? And you have to get in early. So first and foremost, Crypto.com, Crypto.com, cryptocurrencies under a $50 million market cap. I'm going to give off my list first, and then we're going to be talking about the uh, honorable mentions and um, the ones that's on my watch list, okay? So the most important thing to have right now is active stables available for new coins because Crow will be putting some new coins out. They actually don't have the best list. So if you're super degen like me and you understand the degen space, you want to get into some of these cryptocurrencies that's just been launched. Unfortunately, and, and hopefully Chris sees this video, man. I really be hoping that a lot of the, the big dogs see these type of videos. Um, we need a better select selection. I will say this. Doing my research was very, very hard. Finding low-cap gems 
on crypto.com. It was extremely hard. I'm always trying to be as transparent for you guys as possible. It was hard. <laughs> like I was sitting there going through some of this like, nah, this is not it. This has been around since ages. This will never get back. This sucks. So the research was tough. This research takes time. So all I ask of you guys is like, subscribe, and interact in the chat. It really, really helps with the algorithms. All right. So the first project that I want to talk about, right, is Superverse, right? So let's talk about Superverse. This is the first one I actually want to talk about, low cap gem on crypto.com. It's sitting here at a $35 million market cap. The total supply, um, the circulating supply is 45% of the max supply, which is 1 billion tokens to put that into perspective. A very similar project like Polygonmatic, what sort of dust games was able to hit three dollars in the height of the bull run to beat the pinnacle and it has 10 billion max tokens right now we're looking at superverse which only has um one billion max tokens so what is superverse if and, and I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest the reason why i'm so bullish on this project is i'm frankly and bullish on the influencer aspect to it so the founder of this project i believe is elliot trades if you ever seen his videos very very clean videos on on youtube and he seems like a pretty genuine guy i don't see i don't feel like the rug energy from elliot trades it feels like he really really is passionate about his cryptocurrency project and he doesn't even shill it he barely even talks about his project on his channel which tells me that he, it's not about getting his project out there force feeding it to people he really just wants it to organically grow so that specifically made me bullish on him and the fact that he has a project and he's one of the biggest influencers in the crypto space, I'm also drawn to his project because I can expect a lot of his influencer friends to also be investors in this project. So Superverse is building a and delivering a Web3 product that empowers crypto natives with the next generation NFT functionality and onboard Web2 users through immersed blockchain gaming experiences. The Superverse comprises two core verticals, NFT marketplace, so it's an NFT marketplace and video games. So Two narratives. This wide array of Web3 tools and features is supported and governed by a single protocol and token, Super ERC20. So there is the utility, right? So in order to vote and, you know, navigate across this ecosystem, you have to use Super, which is the ERC20 token for um, formerly known as Super Farm. So a lot of people probably know this as Super Farm. The Superverse harbors two central projects, the Gigamart, a next-gen NFT marketplace with advanced analytic tools and unique social features, and imposters a social gaming metaverse. So let's go check. Out. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate that. I can't see. Thanks for screen. streaming. Every trucker needs a podcast. <laughs> hey, salute to the truckers, man. Y'all really, really put yourself on the line and make sure everything is. You know what? The world won't be able to run without truckers and trains, right? Like, in of course, planes. Everything comes in though on trucks so without truckers like that's like vegetables without pollen right bees without y'all get what i'm kind of saying you're like we need truckers so salute to the truckers salute to the truckers right and appreciate that all right so let's get into the website here because this project is listed on crypto.com it's a low cap right 35 million that's not much um you can see here um, they have the NFT marketplace. They have the imposters right here, which is a game. And the Gigamart is the NFT marketplace, um, which supports creators, innov innovative infrastructure, next-gen notifications. Now, they also have staking, which, again, further gives the coin of this project more utility. So you can stake and earn. You can use your tokens to actually gain voting rights. So I expect this project... When a lot of the influencers come back and everybody starts getting bullish again, I think that this project, because it's being led by Elliott Trades, will be one of the premier gainers on Crypto.com. So um, I don't hold any of this token yet. Yet. I'm looking for entry points. Maybe I possibly will. I'm always fully transparent with you guys. But it is on my watch list as a project to keep an eye on as we get closer to the halving cycle. Elliott's project is also listed on Coinbase, Kraken, um binance and a few other exchanges now i would have liked to see this not be listed on something like coinbase on binance because then it would have gave me more opportunity and potential but specifically the fact that this project is led by influencers i think it would do well kind of like what we see from hello token so we're probably at that point to where this thing 
finally flatlines, you'll notice this about a lot of crypto.com tokens. Of, I'm telling you guys, this research, it really, really took time. And this project is down 95%. Um, Taking a look at the uh, holder count here. See if people have been um, gradually accumulating this thing. It has 25,000 holders. Let's check out the holders together. And um, one of the top holders, of course, is the Binance 8 wallet, which I believe is a either cold wallet or, or, or hot wallet for Binance. And they hold 10% of this token. So I wonder how much, I wonder if um, Elliott Trades actually owes, owes some of this token. I'm, I'll do some more research on a contract and see if the contract actually is still being held by the founder because that's information you can find about um, find out on the blockchain. The blockchain doesn't lie. Why do you think everything is going to be on the blockchain? Because you cannot hide anything from the blockchain. You can hide things with cash and crazy. Larry Fink said that back in the day, but you cannot hide things with the blockchain. So that's why I think like everything will be migrating to the block blockchain, right? Tokenization on the blockchain. So, um, not the best cryptocurrency, right? Again, but we're only doing cryptocurrencies on crypto.com app. So if you're limited to crypto.com app, I think that this project has potential. Thanks for always educating me on crypto fire content. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, man. Whoever that was. Look, when y'all do those chats, it helps me out because I can't see it while I'm doing the research with you guys. But I can hear and I appreciate that. I don't have to go and look and see who's commented. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. Very. I think, I think this channel is very undervalued. Um, compared to some of the constituents that I do see in the space. Um, if you take a look at the Twitter count, let me follow this since I'm putting it on my watch list, 230,000 followers. So insane, right? Insane, 230,000 followers. You got to think a lot of projects that's popular like this, if we see some. So it, it's two sides to the story. We can say, and I'm more on the 50-50 side, we can say, well, historically, cryptocurrencies that have had a bull run necessarily don't have a bull run in the next uh, cycle. I wouldn't say this was a bull run for Superverse. So in my opinion, they never had a bull run. But if we're going to be consistent and say, well, institutional money is bringing all of this liquidity. So who is to say some of these 2021 tokens won't run again and even go more parabolic? So I think you want to have an open mind with some of those 2021 tokens, the ones that have the foundation, that have the use case, could possibly still see some type of insane gains. Maybe not something from the, the micro caps or new cryptocurrencies like a 200x, 300x, but definitely anywhere between a 30 and 50, maybe, well, I'll say 10 and 30x, 10 to, I'll give it more, 10 to 50x depending on the project. All right, move along. Let's talk about Libra Finance. So Libra Finance here is sitting at a $7 million mark cap. I think it's really $26 million. This is not correct. Um, but I believe that this project, because of the liquid stake and derivatives narrative, and you can see a very healthy chart, this will be a winner in the next cycle. It will be a winner headed into the next cycle because what we've seen from DeFi last cycle is DeFi pumped about six months before we've seen the pinnacle of the bull run, stuff like Ave, stuff like Lido, a lot of these cryptocurrencies curve. They pump DeFi protocols pump six months prior until we seen like peak bull run momentum. So as people start to to get that degen bug, because a lot of people will get that degen bug, I expect a project that features liquid stake and derivatives to be a premier project in the next bull cycle. It's sitting at a twenty six million dollar market cap, of course. This is not right. Coin market cap is never right. Um, I don't even matter of fact. Let's go check this on Coin Gecko because it's irritating me. It really irritates me that you have like a, a organization that just can't be consistent with the stats of cryptocurrencies, and you're calling yourself Coin Market Cap. All right, let's find out um, the official stats from Libra Finance if they actually have it. Here, post it. Salute the play zap. Let me know in the chat if you have any play zap. What you gonna do when Bitcoin hit a hundred thousand? What you gonna do when you see Bitcoin at a hundred? Well, I thought I, this thing flashed. I was about to what? Do we, we pumped five hundred percent. What the? We pumped a what? Okay, that that threw me off right there. All right, Libra Finance market cap fifteen million. 
Uh, circulating supply is, I believe, what, 16%. So you got to understand with these um, these liquid staking derivatives, they don't have the best tokenomics. But I believe, again, I believe in the narrative. And I believe that this project has been very, very healthy when you compare it to stuff like Pendo, which already 20 x in a bear market. you got to find something that could potentially duplicate that set success in the same sector. So if you have Crypto.com app, and you're looking for a low cap, right? A low cap that literally, in my opinion, will be one of the most profitable low caps on this app. You got to start looking at DeFi protocols. And I expect this project to be a premier DeFi protocol on Crypto.com app. Will there be better ones outside the app? Hey, maybe so. But today we're talking about Crypto.com specifically and low caps here on Crypto.com. So they have a working app. You can launch the app. Um, you can see you can earn interest, 8% APY on USD. So they're offering you an opportunity to earn a passive income. Um, I think that this project is set up to do very well. A lot of people use this project. Um, they have a, a layer zero that they, they're launching. Well, this is going to, this is interesting. Now, I didn't even know this. Um, launching OmniChain made easy with layer zero. The implementation will be powered by layer zero's OmniChain fungible token. Standard enabling the creation of PUSD and Omnichain version of USD. This approach eliminates the requirement for EUSD liquidity pools on each supported chain, as well as the complexities of bridging and wrapping procedures. So that's 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 crazy right there. So again, more opportunity at passive income. I think Libra here is going to do well, man. I could if 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 Pendo was able to twenty. X, right i think pendo went from like a 10 million dollar market cap to almost a 200 million dollar market cap in like six seven months can you believe that that project went from a 10 million dollar market cap to about a 200 million dollar market cap in six months in a bear market all off the hype of liquid staking because we've seen ethereum 2.0 so leading up to the shanghai upgrade you've seen a lot of those liquid staking protocols pump um libra pumped pendo pumped and even a project called dsla protocol pump all under the same narrative so when bullish momentum comes i think that this project will do well so y'all let me know what y'all think about libra finance it is listed on crypto.com um this is not the official twitter page i think they just well i think it is but they just opened it oh there we go main main there we go i know i was like i know i seen the official one twenty nine thousand on the official page they got the backup um, EUSD's number one interest bearing stable coin with 8% base APY backed by LSTs. PUSD is the omni chain DeFi utility version of EUSD. So do your research on that. Um, become a DGEN. Learn how to actually use Libra Finance. That's one of my goals is I want to actually learn how to use stuff like Libra Finance. So I, when the bull market comes around, I can compound that gains, them gains and kind of like explain to you guys how I'm doing it as I navigate through DeFi. So I hold Libra Finance very bullish on this and it's one of my projects on the crypto.com app here all right so moving on along we're going to check out the holders here only three thousand holders still so still early actually i want to see what markets is actually listed on giving it me an idea if this thing has even more potential so um it's listed on crypto.com but also okx l bank baguette big x so uh, still a lot more exchange listings to come. So that is a bright spot, in my opinion, for Libra Finance. So if you know about LSD, the narrative, um, put this on your watch list. And y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the chat. And then I'm going to open up the floor and let me know what, and, and you, you guys can let me know what your favorite low caps on crypto.com is. The next on list is, 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 is my lady's meme coin so it's nothing wrong in my opinion with having a meme coin in your portfolio i will be doing a video on when the time is right to buy meme coins i do not think this is the best time to buy them if you plan on holding them i think that we can pretty much time the market here with meme coins meme coins is a little bit easier to time the market right so in my opinion i think that um what we need to be focusing on is creating a watch list of meme coins and kind of like getting ready and prepared to have liquidity on the sidelines for these meme coins. If we go lower, I think that would be a blessing. In my opinion, why I have my ladies meme coin and not a lot of other meme coins on this list. Because it's a low market cap. 
it's a new cryptocurrency and it's a niche cryptocurrency that can really really uh, uh create a crowd and when i say create a crowd we're talking about onboarding more women and female into cryptocurrencies because i've noticed on twitter if you're on twitter or x whatever you want to call it you'll see a lot of ladies they pretty much have these profile pics of the my ladies nft so a very 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 popular nft collection not much utility with the token but this project i believe will go crazy because of hype a lot of people hold this project it just recently overcame a lot of fud and it still held up even in the midst of some crazy fud now i'm not going to talk about the fud on stream because it can get a little bit touchy but family um let's say a lot of that was alleged there is you know you got to respect that this project didn't kind of like break down to the fud so I don't want to speak on this as far as utility and use case because frankly there is none this is specifically a high risk play in a community token so if you're in the meme coins right and you're looking for a meme coin or crypto.com app out of all of the meme coins i believe this one has maybe the most potential sitting here at a 25 million dollar market cap um i believe it's down like almost 95 percent since inception so you can kind of see either a double bottom or a cup and handle pattern um, being created here. I think that this project is primed to do well inside the bull cycle because it's very popular. It even got a tweet from Elon Musk. So I'm not going to go into the website because, frankly, there's nothing to talk about on the website. Um, the Twitter has about 65,000 followers. I've talked about ladies so many times I don't want to spend too much time on it. But if we're just specifically talking crypto.com app, if crypto.com app is the only app that you use, I believe my ladies token is the premier meme coin. Now, it's not the best meme coin. But when I say premier and we're talking about low caps, I believe it has the most potential because it has the lowest market cap. Not only does it have the lowest market cap, but it's just as popular as some of those meme coins that have higher market caps. I mean, you didn't see Elon name drop every meme coins that's listed on crypto.com app so in my opinion i believe ladies has potential as a meme coin and as a community token i'm not saying this is something that you hold for four to seven years in my opinion my ladies is a short-term investment in peak bull run i would be looking to take profits i would not hold this past the bull run i have no interest in holding my ladies meme coin it's specifically a short-term play headed into the bull cycle that i expect would it will explode when the meme coin season come around so pay attention to this project for meme coin season it's not going to pump with the utility it's not going to pump with bitcoin it's going to pump when the rest of the meme coins pump i want to make that clear all right and that's just my opinion that's my take on it you can have your take i think my ladies will do well if you're looking for a top low cap on crypto.com i think it's one of the premier low caps moving on along now this one this 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 is about a 50 50 for me okay i do not i want to make this clear i do not like line wires tokenomics i think that they're ass i think that they're trash but there wasn't really too many options here for low cap gems or crypto.com this is this is how bad crypto.com choices are as far as tokens right um i think the next one you guys probably will like a little bit more than this one but this is there's crypto.com choices are extremely bad why do i know that because i'm a gem hunter and in the midst of me doing my research on gem hunting it's certain things that i look for when investing into these cryptocurrency projects but this was a highly requested video because a lot of people want to learn how to use DeFi. they either just don't have the time to do the research so they prefer to to shop with these third parties that's a little bit more trusted now can we literally trust centralized exchanges maybe not after what we've seen from ftx but for the most part crypto.com has been solid um in the midst of the bear market and throughout the fud chris from crystal chris chris from crypto.com has been getting licenses has been expanded in different countries and the project itself ecosystem has been growing not to add he's been adding different utilities on the app user interface stuff like being able to trade options and even a debit card so i believe crypto.com is a solid app is it the best investment maybe not but i like the app on and i like the ability the app has to bring in new people 
as far as adoption. So when you come into cryptocurrency, what's the first thing you do? You don't use Uniswap and you damn sure don't use PancakeSwap. You probably never heard of that because I never heard of that. Most people who get into crypto, uh, crypto, they use exchanges like Robinhood or Coinbase. And then soon, you know, then you learn how to use crypto.com or something like a Binance. But when you first start, you're either going to use in the States, I'm talking in the States, you're either going to use Coinbase, Robinhood or crypto.com. I'm not a fan of the choices on Robinhood. Coinbase has better choices than Crypto.com, but I believe Crypto.com is the easiest. It's the easiest to apply for. It's the easiest to send you information. Their KYC process is a lot more easier than Coinbase, but they don't have the best projects. And that's what brings me to this next project, which is LimeWire. Okay, now, very interesting project. I believe they're, they're, they're partnered with Soulja Boy, if that means anything. The market cap here is about $4 million. The max supply is unlimited uh, according to coin market cap and the circulating supply is 45 million. So I would need this question answered for this specific project because in my opinion, again, LineWire does not have the best tokenomics. Now, as far as the website, I checked out the website. It seems like LineWire is working to be a Patreon version of cryptocurrency. So they're, make, they're, they're dropping a one-stop shop, right? They're dropping a one-stop shop where you can be able to build your own platform, right? Monetize your platform. So LineWire is a platform for content creators, artists, and brands to create membership-based communities. What does that sound like? Sounds like Patreon. So this is, you know, basically a Patreon that's a Web3 version of Patreon. Patreon on a blockchain. Creators can build reoccurring revenue streams by offering fans exclusive access to their community and journey as an artist. Through blockchain technology, we make exclusive content and assets ownable and tradable, allowing fans to not only consume content, but also to directly participate in the success of the creator creators they, they support. So a platform for creators, artists, et cetera, et cetera. You see the um, partnerships here. They're partnered with Soldier Boy. So, so pretty good partnerships. Some very, very good VC backing here. And this is another reason I'm bullish on this project, having a huge run-up, right? Now, I told one of my guys let retail dump off because I had a great conversation with um crypto um S um crypto Seth earlier and he made a great point of how a lot of these VCs are not really interested in dumping in the bear market. And after thinking about that, I was like, I kind of agree. So what we see is the retail dumping because they are afraid that they're being manipulated or dumped by the VCs. Yet the VCs are just manipulating the market by making it seem like they're dumping now when you see all of these investors right dow jones dead man swiss borg ventures cracking adventures it tells me that this project has a lot of vc interest look at the prior top 10 in crypto look at the prior top 50 in crypto most of those projects are backed by vc so this project in my opinion sitting at a five million dollar market cap with this type of backing makes it a gem i wouldn't pay attention to the tokenomics because it's too early with this cryptocurrency this is frankly a new cryptocurrency linewire token is a erc20 token deeply embedded into the linewire ecosystem designed to provide a series of perks and benefits to holders as well as enhance the user experience across the linewire platform um, in mid 2022 they successfully closed 10.4 million strategic and private pre-sale of the LimeWire token with a long list of strong backers including Kraken, Crypto.com, Capital GSR, Ariton, and Ariton Capital. The, the only one that probably scares me about this is Kraken because I think Kraken was one of those projects that did capitulate or in the process of capitulating. So outside of Kraken, I love this lineup and I feel like just like, I mean, it says it right here. LineWire is backed by industry titans. This project also was able to get listed on a few markets extremely fast. So when you see a new project get listed on all of these markets extremely fast, it tells you that there's a lot of backing behind it. So LineWire, if you don't know, has been around for a while. Back back in the day day when I was in school, LineWire, I knew about LineWire. I think like you could just you could download music. I used to download music on LineWire. Oh, so crazy story, right? Story time. So I used to, this is this is why me and LimeWire has a connection from way, way back in the day. So I used to download music on LimeWire and upload it to CDs and sell these CDs in school. 
<laughs> for like five bucks. I would download like the hottest songs on the radio or the hottest songs uh, and, and kind of like make a mixtape, right? And then pass them out in school and make like five bucks per CD. So I've been using LimeWire and then it kind of like disappeared when, I don't know, excuse me, hit my mic, but it kind of like disappeared. Um, I don't know what happened to the to the company, but it just like disappeared. I didn't even know this company was, was still around until probably like six months ago when I seen that they had a cryptocurrency and I was like, wow. So it was a pre-sale. I didn't participate in a pre-sale, but I know a few people that did. And you can see from the pre-sale, it completely dumped off. So we're almost to that point, in my opinion, where all of that retail that was scared to get dumped on or front run by VC is out of this project. Um, it's a low cap. It's a low cap gem on crypto.com. Will it will it do well? The jury is still out. I think that it still could pump. What is it sitting at a four million? Maybe this thing hits a 30 million, 50 million. Maybe it hits a hundred million dollar market cap. Maybe. I'm not expecting to do nothing crazy, right? But again, we have the limited options here. We're talking about crypto.com app here. We have limited options. I went over all of the projects under a $50 million market cap. And this is the one that I think has some of the most potential. Um, it's known. They've had success in Web2. They have partnerships with like Soldier Boy and big, huge VC backing. And they're also li listed on crypto.com. So if you was looking for a low cap, Four million dollars isn't nothing. There is still potential for this project to hit the heights of a ninety, maybe a hundred million dollar uh, market cap. Maybe it gets to one forty, and you get a get a ten x or twenty x. So, not going to say this thing could go crazy because the tokenomics are again trash, and you can see from the chart. But there are some huge backers behind it, and maybe this thing comes back to life here. Um. Yeah, and that's all I got for, for LimeWire. All right, last but not least, I want to move on. I want to move on. Um, Tectonic. So the last low-cap gem I want to talk about on Crypto.com app under a $50 million market cap is Tectonic. Now, contrary to many people's beliefs, Tectonic has been doing pretty good. It's been holding up at, I believe, what's that? How many zeros are on Tectonic right there? 6012. I mean, it was holding up. Um, for the month, it's up seven percent. Um, it's not going, it's not doing nothing crazy. It's not moving crazy, but it's been pretty solid. And they continue to add more tokens to their liquidity pools. They continue to build in the bear market. The community continues to be interactive. They consistently every week drop uh, Twitter Spaces, X Spaces. So I'm bullish on Tectonic. I mean, they're on episode thirty-five. You can see right here. I'm bullish on Tectonic. Um, I believe Tectonic. The only thing that, that Tectonic is lacking is more listings. They got to get out of Crypto.com's shadow. So the biggest concern that I have with Tectonic is not the tokenomics. I think that it is still pumped because it has tokenomics very similar to a meme coins. And what do communities do with meme coins? They rally on deleting zeros. But my issue with Tectonic, and has always been an issue, is the lack of listings, right? Um, I think that the lack of listings are good right now if they have potential to to, to actually get listings but it's bad right now if you believe that they'll never get listings so it's the flip side of that because it's only listed on crypto.com maybe this is the best time to buy it because they have no other listings but if they just continue to roll out the crypto.com listing and nothing else you know and just VV, vvs finance then then i would be concerned um will it still pump yeah it's gonna pump it, it the price is like a meme coin so people when they download crypto.com and instinct starts pumping, everybody's going to start talking about Tectonic. Everybody's going to buy Tectonic because it's easy to buy on, uh, on crypto.com. And it's going to pump. Simply going to pump. People bought Tectonic last bull run and didn't even know what it was. People bought Tectonic and didn't even know that it was the future of banking. Like People bought Tectonic just because they their meme coin wasn't pumping and it looked like it was a meme coin and it was like oh it has a lot of zeros i'm gonna buy tectonic nobody even understood the utility of tectonic then not a lot of people understand it now so it's a DeFi protocol um where you can lend and borrow your cryptocurrency upon cryptocurrency and earn a passive income right uh DeFi banking is what we call it tectonic has potential it's not a high market cap it's down 96 percent from its all-time high the market cap is sitting here only at 30 million. So in my opinion, these are the top 
five cryptocurrencies that have the most potential. But wait, there's more. Um, I also want to talk about my honorable mentions here. So, of course, I did a research on a lot of cryptocurrencies. I did research on a lot. This 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 video probably took me like weeks of research, right? Honorable mentions because there were projects that I wanted to talk about, but I only could pick five. But it's not fair to these projects because I believe they still have potential. First project I want to talk about is Bricks. And I can talk about Bricks and Moon together. They're both Reddit tokens. So one, I believe, is a Fortnite Reddit token for the Fortnite community. Um, Moon, I believe, is a Reddit token for the entire cryptocurrency community. So if you swing over to Reddit, Reddit has these communities where you can utilize Moon token to um, build up your, your presence on Reddit. Okay, And I believe that Reddit tokens will do well because they're new. They're new to many, even though they're old to most. Like if you've been around cryptocurrency, you probably saw Reddit, um, saw Moon before, but you didn't even know what it was. A lot of people didn't know what it was. You can see here this thing been around since um, 2021, but it just recently got positive. And even since inception, the price, the price action chart is pretty bullish, right? Now it's dumping and maybe we get another correction like we've seen here before we get another crazy run up. Moon is only sitting at a $25 million market cap. So, um... If you feel like Moon is utility for Reddit, I don't use Reddit enough to be like, oh, I need to buy Moons. I mean, that would be the utility. But other than that, it's completely pointless, but it's popular. And what do we know about popular tokens? They run, right? You don't have much options with low caps on crypto.com. And I believe Moons is one of the ones that you want to at least at least have on your watch list, right? I also like Bricks, but Bricks is like Moon, same thing. Um, Uki Protocol. So... If you're not a fan of Libra Finance, I would pick Uki Protocol. If I wasn't buying Libra, then I would po probably buy Uki Protocol. I think Libra or Uki Protocol um, have the best chance to do what Pendle did. Um, Polka Starter, right? Now, this one I really, really, really wanted. I really, really thought about taking LimeWire off and adding Polka Starter. But, again, this is a niche narrative, right? This is a narrative that... I expect it's going to run when the next bull cycle comes around. But the key is getting to it early, right? This is a launchpad token. So simply put, it's a launchpad token. When crypto gets bullish around, again, you'll see PokerStarter do this. PokerStarter launched some pretty good tokens. If the token does well, the launchpad does well, right? And if you got 10 to 15 tokens that's doing well on your launchpad, then you see insane moves like this, right? This thing went from like what? 25 cent all the way to at 1.5 dollars that's crazy that is crazy right so not sure about the tokenomics right we, we don't know what the max supply is maybe we do maybe it's just not listed here on coin market cap but i think if you were just utilizing crypto.com app it would make a lot of sense to have a launch pad token in your portfolio not financial advice but just letting you know this is a narrative that i'm extremely bullish on it's a very undervalued narrative. In fact, me and Crypto Seth talked about this earlier. So on Crypto.com app, if this is all you got and this is just the only way you can buy crypto, I would consider putting PokerStart on my watch list because Launchpad tokens will do well. Um, the last honorable mention I want to talk about is D-Race. Now, one of my boys, uh, I think it was Archie, he's not a really a fan of D-Race, but I know how much people like horses. I know how much rich people like horses. I know how much people love to bet on horses. And that's why I'm willing to bet that when the bull cycle comes around, D race will 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 jump. It will jump. It was it go, is it gonna do something crazy? Maybe not. Seventeen million dollar market cap. Maybe it just gets back to a one hundred hundred million dollar market cap. But from what I'm seeing, I think they're building out a game as well. It's not all just about um um betting and things of that sort. But what I'm seeing in the I think yeah, the game what the game that looked pretty good last time I looked at it. Let me see if we actually have some some visuals here. I think they, yeah, well, they as you see, they're building on the game coding and stuff like that. So horse racing game where you can bet and utilize um, your D race tokens to um, to compound and earn through betting on this these horse races and games. So um, crazy, and at least they're transparent. They're letting you know the vesting vesting update. Um, D race tokens have now been fully vested for private and public run participants. Hmm, interesting. Good to know. 
racing schedules. So I, I haven't took a deep dive into what D race actually is, but I know it was extremely popular in the last bull cycle, and I think it will be again, just off the aspect of horse racing and being able to bet and earn um, the passive income through this horse racing. The graphics are trash, though. Like, this this is a thing about cryptocurrency, and I've noticed it's like a theme. A lot of the game's graphics are trash, man. But who wants to spend millions of dollars on, on graphics and stuff like that if no one's playing your game? I think the most important thing to do if you got a crypto game is spend that marketing on trying to get people to actually play your game, right? Get people to play your game uh, uh, <laughs> Instead of like buying all of this stuff and investing in all this stuff and then people still not playing your game. So try to build a community first. That's my honorable mention list here. And last but not least, my watch list. And I'm not going to go too much into this. Um, Sparax, if you're into stuff like Phantom, if you miss Phantom and you want to invest into an ecosystem that has a stable coin, Sparax probably would be my first pick sitting at a $6 million market cap. Viot. Viot would have made the list. But unfortunately, in the States, Crypto.com hasn't opened up the buy button. So even if I wanted to buy Viot, I couldn't buy it because you can't buy it in the States on Crypto.com. Maybe in your country or your state, you can. But where I'm at, it won't let me buy Viot. But if I could buy Viot, Viot would, been, would have been in the top five. Um, super rare because I've seen that it was in Mark Cuban's um, portfolio. So if a billionaire is holding this project, tells me some VC capital is involved. I would watch Super Rare. And of course, last but not least, probably the token has the most utility that we've talked about that didn't make the list was DIA. And I believe DIA is either a layer one or layer two. But I'm very, 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 very bullish on DIA. It's just an old token, so I just don't think it will do as well as some of the new layer twos. But DIA, keep an eye on this. If you was looking for something, if you know, if you couldn't invest into the the chain links, the polygons, um, T what's that? Uh, a lot of people have been trying to get me to talk about Teller, but the market cap too high right now to make this list. But if you missed out on Teller, um, polygonmatic, chain link stuff like that, I would take a look at DIA, right? Um, and I'm not sure what the market cap for Metis is, but I also did a little bit of research on Metis. So that's my watch list. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know in your opinion what the favorite, what's your favorite crypto.com. Oh, yeah. So it is an Oracle. I know I knew I wasn't trying. I knew it was either a layer two or Oracle. So yeah, if you want, if you was looking for something to fade chain link and you want it and they updated their website, that's what's up. That's what I like to see. I like when cryptocurrencies in the bear market update their website. But if you wanted to, you know, fade chain link and, and you wanted to invest into a low cap Oracle, DIA probably would be my number one choice on crypto.com. All right. So that's my watch list. Now I'll get into the comments, kind of like um, see what you guys are feeling, what you guys are thinking about. And um, we'll see where we're going from there. All right. So let's get into some of these comments here. Okay, that was AOKG. Appreciate you, man. I didn't know you was a trucker. I know Kahunas was a trucker too. Um, M for Gain says John 316 got those bags packed. Buffling, I gotta watch this stream back after work. Millie making millionaires. Let's go, man. Crypto.com low cap gems. Anybody know what's happened to Sophia first? 30% drop in an hour? Whoa, let's check that out. Well, thank you for letting me know late. Nah, I'm just kidding with you. This is probably the drop I was looking for. I talked about this in my Patreon. I told them if this thing drops between the eight, nine cent range, be looking to a uh, fine entry points. I called it. I called it. If you're in the Patreon, we were already expecting this. And yes, we knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. We knew all of that pre-sale money was not out of Sophia and we was going to be looking for an entry point. So, I DCA probably like at 10 cent. I wish I would have waited a little bit longer. I didn't know it was going to fall to nine or eight, should I say? But it looks like it wants to recover pretty pretty quick. Well, I don't know. Maybe it puts in another um, um, lower, um, what's this? What's this? All right, low. Maybe it puts in a low, another lower high from here. Who knows? Um, but in my opinion, this project is ready. It's getting ready. It's listed in a lot of places. Let them dump off. Let them dump off. I have full confidence that this project will be rebounding. In fact, as soon as I get off this stream, 
I'm probably going to do some charting and see if I can find me a DCA um, position there. So good to know that it's finally dumping off a little bit. Been waiting for that. Been waiting for that. Been waiting for it. Been waiting for it. Crypto Archie, what's the word? Can't wait to do that stream with you on Sunday, I believe. Um, let's get into some of these comments. Uh, yo, yes, Millie Blessings have 81,000 crow. Smash the like button, man. So if 81,000 crow, man, if it get to $1, you sitting nice. That's 81 grand, man. Anybody can use 81 grand right now, right? Um, I won't go shilling. I can talk about that. Um, I'm still new to crypto. All I do is watch you. Besides that, I try not to get distracted on the popular tokens and focus on these diamond tokens that are hidden in the mud. True, true, true. Um, I'm going to keep it PG-13 million. You know that random. He's another. <laughs> it's, it's always good to see some type of um, con um, controversy in the chat. Makes my day. Goldie, what's up? I'm going to Amsterdam. In the bull cycle, I will be in Amsterdam. That's one of the things on my bucket list, family. Who a your KG trying to see who's being a hater? Uh, I'm listening while I'm smoking a huge blunt. Hey, gas up, man. Pass that joint for me, baby. Let's go, kahunas. Good to have my administrators in the chat. Um, what did you wrap that? <laughs> we have some C8. <laughs> Appreciate you, AOKG. Change my tectonic into super. Why would you do that, Goldie? Why would you change your tectonic into superverse? Why, what would you? Why? Why? Why are you thinking that? Let me know in the chat. Why? Why would you sell your tectonic for superverse? Let me know in the chat. What project do you think is better, tectonic or superverse? I might do a poll in the chat. Something, Millie. I didn't get a notification. Glad I didn't miss it. Appreciate you, Cash. We talked about this in the Discord. Please join the free Discord. In fact, go join the Discord now. I dropped the Discord in the chat. When you hop in the Discord, let me know your low cap gem. Your low cap gem. Very bullish on PZP, Kashe. Very bullish on PZP. Um, I'm going to keep talking about PZP, man. We are expecting, our community is expecting PZP to duplicate the Nakamoto game. So I'm extremely bullish on PZP. I think PZP is here to stay all right and who took my um where is it at meme boy ticker chat um i i must have alert fox webcam intermission huh i must have deleted that i must have deleted my um my thing that shows the youtube how many people on my youtube do i have it on here viewer count all right cool there we go there we go so i don't know why my viewer count is not showing up here but it should be in the right hand corner but that's okay we're not worrying about that um anybody knows what happened to sophia we talked about that millie does my ladies meme coins um have anything to do with the nft on this yes it does it's it, it does have any it does it's the meme coin for the nft but there's no direct correlation which is good because we seen the nft dump but we didn't see the token dump so i believe it's a community token um for the community rallied around the nft collection of my ladies hey i'm gonna subscribe after seeing you with seth earlier and heard archie mention your name a few times i mentioned hourglass can I fire some new projects at you and get your thoughts? Of course, Shane. Always, I always love you guys to fire new projects in the chat. Um, I found a couple of gems from the chat. I found gems in the Patreon. Um, Shane, if you want me to do a full review on some of those projects, join the Patreon. That's where I do full reviews on any project that you request. It's a lot more easier to communicate with me on the Patreon. Um, Sebastian, uh, I use all three, my guy. What you talking about? All three uh, exchanges? And for gain says he only uses FTX. So you must be wrecked, good brother. You must be wrecked if you're only using FTX. Uh, same but 25K in liquidity. I am not bullish at this time. Remember Frostwire and I. <laughs> Honda, what's the word? Always good to see Honda in the chat. Yeah, man, um, LimeWire. I'm on, the, I'm on the fence family with LimeWire, guys. I am on the fence with LimeWire. Like I said, when I did this research on Crypto.com, this was extremely hard. Like, I'm a Deejian. And I really couldn't find very, very good low cap gems on crypto.com. I am being con con complete, completely, I could have came up here and just shield some shit. And, you know what I'm saying? It could have been some 
random tokens from 2016, but I been looking at this list for a while and I want to keep it under $50 million market cap, but it was hard genuinely finding projects that I look at and be in, 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 on crypto.com app like a gym, like a gym, right? I told you a lot of this shopping I do on crypto.com app is my blue chip portfolio because that's how I was introduced to crypto. I was introduced to crypto with blue chips. I really didn't understand being a DJ on finding low caps, but now I have a new passion and that passion is finding cryptocurrencies before they blow up. And I love what I do, but I still hold a lot of my blue chips either um, on my wallet or on crypto.com. So if I'm not buying blue chips, I'm normally not buying low cap gems. There's a few low cap gems I do hold on crypto.com. I'm not going to say them on this stream because, I'm again, I don't want you to buy what I buy. I want you to go out there and do your own research. So a couple of those projects I do hold, I let y'all know one, which was Libra Finance. And it's another one that I'm consistently in and out depending on the market. So, again, it was very, very hard to put that list together. But hopefully you guys figured out some alpha from that. Um, AGIX, so you were down... <laughs> Bro, I was downloading that music off LineWire, putting it on, slapping it on a CD and going to school, riding the bus, selling them joints for $5, you know what I'm saying? Making sure I was fresh in school with the hottest J's, all that. I had to make money, man. My family, I don't come from a very wealthy family. Um, haha, same, and I use BitTorrent, and I think that's a coin. Yeah, <laughs> Shane, that's crazy, right? That is crazy. Very bullish on AGIX. I'm bullish on the entire um singularity ecosystem that's why i wanted sophia to hurry up and get the dump out because when you see pre-sale cryptocurrencies hold up like that that's not normal normally when they fresh off a of pre-sale we see a dump that project was gradually dumping out because so many people are bullish on sophia and they didn't know if this thing was going pump so nobody wanted to take that chance of selling off their tokens unfortunately um, we got the fake out, and now a lot of people are, lot, are starting to get scared. The fear and greed index is rising. People are talking about recession. People are saying, oh, we could, we could have another bad Q4 like we had last year. So it's still a lot of fear in the market. So I'm not surprised Sophia finally dumped off. Um, being a D-head with tech, I couldn't buy the presale. Wanted to and tried like crazy, but no joy. Then saw it plunge on a listing and bought twice as much. Right? Kahunas. Look, you were who I was talking about. And you we talked about this um, on X, right? And you hit me up privately and you was, you know, um, putting me onto the token, which I knew about the token, but I wasn't too bullish on the token. And I told you that then. And I told you to be careful also with the pre-sale. So it's good to know that you didn't get into that pre-sale because that thing dumped like crazy. And especially a, a project like LineWire that may have failed in Web2. You know, some of these Web2 projects coming to web 3 for cash grabs we've seen it with the atari token atari one of the biggest gaming names in the space but their cryptocurrency is complete trash which tells me it was just a cash grab so you got to be careful about these web 2 bad actors that are getting in this space and trying to take advantage of cryptocurrency investors like us because they believe like oh well i had a successful name in web 2 i can make a cryptocurrency in web 3 and everybody will buy it just off the name we got to stop doing that we got to make these guys come into the cryptocurrency space and prove themselves, right? And I think we're just not at that point. Um, I mean, of course, we've seen it from, um, um, what's a good uh, a project that uh, we've seen? I mean, I, I guess you could say G-File. G-File is one of them. But I wanna, I'm, I'm going off success. I guess you could say the, the, um, the owner, um, uh, Benefactor, the owner of Gala, he had a lot of success with mobile gaming, and he was able to duplicate that success again with Gala. But... It's not too often that you see these Web 2 guys come in here and instantly have success in Web 3. AGIX, um, type it on CoinGecko if you don't believe me. Um, I bought Tonic when it was 800, e, e 800 per. Where are you from, Kahunas? Are you from out of the country, from Canada or something? Bought lots more at the bottom than vaulted it for four years. Yeah, a lot of people do vault their Tectonic. Did you look at, it will show you a warning. I'm still holding some just in case. Um, Honda is spreading a lot of FUD in the chat here. Death Monkey Gamer, my other administrators, good to see you pop up in the chat, man. Appreciate you, brother. I missed you. Join the Discord, man. Join the Discord. I missed you, man. Did you know Floki has partnerships with Kimball Musk, Elon's brother? No, I didn't know that, Honda. 
<clears throat> Archie went crazy on Floki Inu. I think Floki Inu was, was, was held up pretty good for a meme coin in the bear market. I will say that. DCA to DRC, check the all time chart. Um, D cred. Um, spa looking real bullish right now. Spa? What's that? Is that what I was talking about earlier? Yes, 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 yes. I just want to make sure we were talking about the same cryptocurrency. I didn't know the ticker, but I know it's on my watch list. Um, yeah, I'm um I like I like spa. I like spa. I think um Phantom was huge. Look, well, so this is the thing. So this is the thing. I want to be completely honest with you guys. If spell token wasn't at a fifty million dollar market cap, then I wouldn't have listed spa. I would have listed spell token, right? Because I think spell token has a little bit more trust as far as their stable coin than spa. I think spell token also has the meme coin effect to it, and a lot of people on crypto.com buy spell token. A lot of people on crypto.com are bullish on spell token. I've noticed that. So if spell wasn't over a fifty million dollar market cap, I think it just recently pumped. I'm, I would have I would have brought up spell instead of spa, but because spell has a higher market cap then my second choice would be spa with that specific narrative yes we live we live um let's meet answer them for sure man join the discord or hit me up on patreon um after your talk i don't change tectonic to say <laughs> no don't listen to me man this is not financial advice bro i i i am i i suck at being a financial advisor i am just a crypto enthusiast and this is just my journey throughout the crypto space and i like to explore it and kind of communicate with everybody as we go um tyron titanium 22 adult playground for you to have a scan over as when shane um i'm not sure what you meant i don't know that that sentence kind of like didn't make any um, sense there. Actually, let me make my chat a little bit bigger so you guys can see it here. I didn't want to make it too big, but there we go. There we go. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger, right? Um, Did you see Ben's show today? He is looking for YouTubers for his new show. Hey, appreciate that, Goldie. Um, hey, I'm all about I'm all about business, man. It's nothing personal. I have nothing personal against Ben. Um, but it, it'd be nice, uh, you know, to, to pick his brain. He's been around a while in the crypto space. I've done some pretty crazy videos on Ben, but I have nothing personal against him. After you, let me see, I sent a thousand IOTX on the wrong network two days ago. I was pissed, just found out Coinbase only has ETH network. MEXE uses the actual IOTX. Very, I'm, I'm, I'm low key bullish on IOTX. Um, I think that is also listed on crypto.com. Um, if you know anything about the DPIN narrative, IOTX is one of the premier uh, tokens in the DPIN narrative. Go do your research. I'm not going to talk about the DPIN narrative. It's an infrastructure narrative. I think it's going to be okay in the next bull run. I don't think it's going to be one of the major narratives. In fact, when it started to heat up, it didn't heat up enough for me to be like, oh, this is the next narrative. But I think IOTX is one of the premier tokens in the DPIN narrative. Goldie. Um, did you, okay, we talked about that, Goldfinch, GFI, is that on Crypto.com? Let me check real quick, GFI, let's check that one, GFI, GFI, Goldfinch, um, $12 million market cap, remember y'all, these, these, these need to be on Crypto.com. If it's not on crypto.com, it kind of like we, we can't help the people that's using crypto.com app. But it's on Coinbase, so I guess um, Goldfinch. What is this? Goldfinch is a global credit protocol that offers sustainable, high quality, stable coin yields. Okay, I like I'm DeFi. I like that. That generate by real world economic activity sheltered by DeFi's volatility. GFI is the Ethereum token that governs Goldfinch, which ultimately aims to make DeFi lending more accessible by enabling loans that can be used by both on and off chain collateral. Okay, I would have to do some research into Goldfinch, man. It looks it, from the surface it looks like a, a all right token. Um, I really do like yield farming and yield. Radio Shack was another cat. Yes, yes. Radio Shack sucked. Um so my GFI long ago 40k liquidity now. 
Um, cheers from Brazil. Hey, I was talking to Seth after stream about that. I'm very bullish on going to Brazil, man. They have the most beautiful ladies. We're going to Brazil. Turn it up. Is DCR my bad, not DRC? Decred been out since 2016. Check the all time. Oh, man. I, I would. Once you said 2016, that's a game breaker for me. I would not look into DCR. I'm from Manchester, the spiritual home of dance music at a great nightclub in Manchester during the 1990s called Peruvia. Oh, interesting, interesting. I'm like, Manchester, I need to put that on my bucket list, man. So you drive trucks in Manchester. Spies on Arbitron. True, true. I like Spell. Do you recommend it? If so, why? The market cap is $70 million. Yes, Sp uh, uh, Spell did not make this um, stream because it's not under a $50 million market cap. Um, I don't necessarily like it, but if we're just talking crypto.com app tokens, I think it's one of the best tokens on crypto.com app. Um, but I would not recommend it, and I cannot give you any recommendations. I can only tell you if I like it. And if we're just talking about specifically crypto.com app, I think Spell is one of the best tokens under a $100 million market cap. Also, check out Aragon, and, and I'm still pretty bullish on Mask Network. AI only 40k liquidity. It's good that you focus on liquidity, Honda. A lot of people don't understand that liquidity plays a main part with the gross of the uh, the, the the token. So when you see a token that, so and this is the thing: you want a project to have liquidity, right? As a low cap, uh, small cap, you don't want it to have too less of liquidity, but you don't want it to have too much liquidity. So you want to have a good balance with liquidity. The coins above were new tokens, which I could be potential gems. Sorry, it didn't make much sense. Nah, it's cool. It's cool. Look, guys, on this stream, we were specifically talking about crypto.com app gems, okay? I talk about low-cap gems all the time, but this stream was specifically for my crypto.com app holders, okay? So, um, I think Dash is pretty old, too, um, Honda. Dash is pretty old. So, um, I'm going to wrap it up with that, family. I don't want to be on this live too long because again we was just focusing on crypto.com apps um tokens appreciate everybody that showed up again what i will do before i go is i'm going to drop the links again in the chat um please if you don't join the patreon just join the free discord and let me know your favorite low cap gems also if you are joining the just discord let me know if you do any technical analysis i am looking for people in the discord that do technical analysis so i'm going to drop the links one more time um, that's the patreon right there and then i'll do the discord right so if you do technical analysis we would love to have you in the discord if you do um if you just you know want to talk crypto have fun or just need somebody to talk to man you need somebody you're just having a bad day and you need somebody to talk to join the free discord you know what i'm saying join the free discord i'm always answering people in there i do not mind and I think networking is huge in cryptocurrency. I think it's really, really huge. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to look at it, uh, Honda. Appreciate the $2, man. Honda, you a day one, bro. You always been following the stream for a while, and I appreciate that, my brother. I really do appreciate that. Um, I'm not really into tokens after a certain, you know, I think, I think some tokens have lifespan, so I'm not really into tokens, you know, when they get a certain age outside of maybe Bitcoin and Ethereum, but I will look at the token. I will look at the token. I just dropped the Discord link, Goldie. Again, if you just need somebody to talk to, of course, keep it clean. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a few members in there that's constantly um, talking and dropping new gems, dropping alpha, dropping cryptos that they're buying, and even um, aping the things that you recommend. Um, I know my boy, uh, one of my guys, he, he, he'd be like, look, drop whoever dropped the crypto, I'll put $5 in it right now. So, you know, people are always interacting. Uh, in the free discord so yeah, that's all we ask for around here man just a like to subscribe and a comment and if you want to talk crypto all 24 7 join the free discord if you want to know about low cap gems though one-on-ones and get your cryptocurrency reviewed then that's specifically for my patreon members okay so patreon members get a little bit more but again the free discord is for everybody and i'm building a community would love everybody to interact with the free discord so go join right now let me know you join Drop a low cap gem. Drop your favorite cryptocurrency. Also, before you go on the Patreon, I will be adding another tier, right? And this tier will be specifically about portfolio. So what we'll be doing on the new tier 
is we'll be and this is this is gonna sound nah I'm I actually I'ma save it. I'ma save it. I'ma save it. I'ma save it. We we're gonna be doing some things with portfolios, but I'm not adding the new tier just yet, and I don't know what I what I want to actually do with it, but I'm putting it out there. Um and we got a potential AMA on the way with a very, very popular low cap. And I'm excited. I'm excited for this because I was able to um, connect with the founders. And hopefully very, very soon we got a very big AMA on the way with a very popular low cap gem. So be looking for all that. Channel's growing. Um, new new guests will be coming on um, the streams as well. So we'll get that. And we'll just continue to focus on winning in this crypto cycle, right? Building our bags. Um, hustling, getting that liquidity together. Being prepared and really becoming um, crypto millionaires, really, really, really taking this uh, crypto cycle and, and smashing it, right? Killing it, slaying it, you know what I'm saying? Really, 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 really becoming the pioneers, right? The next pioneers in the next crypto cycle. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Shane, I'll holla at you. Honda has been one. Goldie with the check mark. Cause Shay see you in the Discord. It's your boy, Chris.